quite um, figure out how, given who you are, you say you are, mm -hmm. you are grappling still with issues of self-love. Mm -hmm. All right. How many have an issue with that? Everyone? Yeah. How many of you expect Jesus to be perfect? Yeah. No, I don't expect that. No, I know. I've experienced of Jesus and I have experienced him. Yeah. I'm, it's always been of a, of a being with extraordinary capacity to love. Yeah. So, and I have an, an idea that if one has a capacity to love, to give love, that first one has to love oneself. True. That's that's where I come from in that question. So this is where True. I'm a bit confused sure. to have that. Here's all the spheres, and there was spheres up to 20 seconds here. Huh? All through that life, I never had any emotional damage at all. Right? So I have the amount of divine love in my soul that enables me to be, live in that location. But as soon as I reincarnated, and this applies to my soulmate as well when she reincarnated, and remember that it has been prophesied in the Bible and other places that I was going to do this, that I was going to return, right? What happens is the emotional damage from my parents starts in straight away filtering into my soul. And the memories that I have of all of that life, that 2,000 years in my case of life, start triggering all of these new emotions that I now need to deal with. You follow me? Now, I could have chosen to re-enter the earth without reincarnation. Because when you're in the 20 second sphere state, you can create a body at will. So you can without actually... coming through a birth canal, are you saying? Yep. Through, 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 a female, through a female body? Yeah, really? yeah. you can materialise a, a form. Yeah. yeah. And in fact, any spirit above the seventh sphere can do that. And any, even spirits below. Who's heard of Anastasia? Yeah. Who's read some of the... She's a fifth sphere spirit at the time of the writing who materialised a form, right? So, so you can materialise a form, right, on Earth. And so, but I chose to not do that because what that would do was actually worsen people's beliefs about myself. You follow me? I hear what you're saying, but I'm not sure that I agree with your reasoning. I know you don't agree with my reasoning. <laughs> <laughs> the reason I don't is I have a very close personal friend who has actually incarnated twice not through the birth canal, and I actually know that this is the case. Right. And she doesn't have these kinds of issues. She chose, uh, you know. Yeah, but you're saying that I, I need to make the same choices that she's no, made. I'm not saying that you need to make the same choices, Aren't but you? I'm just. Mm -hmm. um, you, your reason for saying that you came through was that you felt you wouldn't be believed. No, not at all. Or that people wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to have the same impact on people. Certainly. Definitely would not be able to have the same impact. So what, what, do, what do I want to teach you? I don't want to teach you that I'm different to you. I want to teach you that I'm exactly the same as you. Yes. I want to teach you that, that you know, the only reason, the only difference is be open and willing to experience all of your own emotions and pray for love. Yeah. And yeah. the other things I want to teach, how am I going to teach you that if I don't live it? Well, because I didn't live it in the first century. Okay, I mean it's not a teaching that I haven't heard before. I've, I've also been to Guanas University. They teach it there. Mm -hmm. This other being that I'm telling you about teaches the same thing and lives it. Mm -hmm. um, I've lived with her. Mm -hmm. She certainly experiences emotions, but she's it's how she experiences them that, that I learn from and that is different. Mm -hmm. And she also is is love, totally love. Mm -hmm. And certainly I, I I see her teaching those things very effectively and lovingly with people. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure you do too. I'm not I'm not wanting you to think that I am criticising or implying your criticism, mm -hmm. but I felt that I needed to have some sort of understanding of that because... Yeah, but, but see, I don't need you to believe who I am. Of course you don't. And, and in the end it will become clear whether I am who I'm saying I am or not. Yeah. All right? And all, all I'm doing is telling you right now what my experience has been, that's all. And I know for certain that there has never been another re reincarnation since so I was if, reincarnated. If you, if from, you, from before I was reincarnated. If you need to re-experience all of these things again in order to... I didn't to, need to. Well, if you chose to do that in order for us to be able to, 
to believe you? No. Or to recognize No, no, to no. <laughs> it's so, so that I can demonstrate my love for you and so that I can demonstrate what you also need to do if you want to become at one with God. I can, dem I can physically demonstrate it. Do you have to be Jesus, though, in particular? Like, no. <laughs> <laughs> there's, the, there's, there's 14. Just AJ and just be AJ? But, uh, and do no, the same thing? I, I am. Do the same thing? Because cut the Jesus factor out of it, and you could be that. But I am who I am. But, and if I am going to remain in harmony with my relationship with God, I need to ad admit, not only to myself, but also to you, who I am. Do you know that it's necessary for it to... To be to say that really, even because we probably could have been uh, Melchizedek or Joseph or whoever else we wanted to be. No, it's not about who I wanted to be. <laughs> I certainly don't want to be Jesus. <laughs> At the moment, I certainly don't want to be. <laughs> it's just who I am. Like one of the very first emotions I've had to deal with is is, uh-oh, <laughs> and I'm going to have to say that I'm Jesus. And uh, that, that, took me, that took me eight months of emotional processing to actually come to terms with being able to do that. Because, because I knew that all of you would have these reactions, right? These reactions of, oh, but you don't have to say you're Jesus to, for, for to teach these things. But Andrew, yeah? I could probably happily sit and listen to you talk and teach the way you're teaching mm -hmm. very comfortably, very openly. So why are you not Whether comfortable? Or not, you told me you were Jesus. But, but you're not comfortable with me telling you you're Jesus. Well, the truth is you're not comfortable. Right now the emotion inside of you is you are not comfortable with me saying it. Same goes with yourself. Well that's probably true. How many of you don't feel comfortable with me saying it? And it's not anything. It's okay. The reason for me is that there's a lack of confidence in, my, in the way I believe it and you're explaining that to me now, which is why I asked the question, mm -hmm. with Jesus, as I understand him to be... But this is, this is part of the problem, is it? Someone who isn't able to love themselves. Is that the, the yeah, I know. This self. is part of the problem, is that you all have misconceptions of me. All of you. All of you have misconceptions of the truth as well. You all think that somehow, like, you, you don't understand this soul damage thing that goes on at reincarnation, for example. Here, you don't feel it here in your heart. You don't realise the truth of it yet. That's okay. I'm just saying, this is what's actually happened. You don't have to believe any of it, but you will come to believe it, I can assure you, down the track. Now, I know that might sound arrogant, but I'm not being arrogant, what I'm just saying. This, you see, this is something I've actually had described to me before. I'm not having an issue with that. You've had described people entering from the 22nd sphere into a split soul union state to come well, down to earth. You've never had that said to you maybe before. Maybe not exactly, but it means much of what you teach. Maybe not this, this structure in the same sense, but yeah. in other words... Of course, a lot of truth... You talk of spheres, the Indians talk of locus. Of course. Talk of, much of it is the same, of course. in a different language. I have heard, heard it... So, what, of course that's going to be so the I case, isn't it? I have an issue it? with it. I absolutely don't have an issue with what you teach. But you do have an issue with me. No. Emotionally, yes, you do. No, I just had a question. <laughs> <laughs> a question which you answered. See, I think you get quite defensive because you want people to be to reject the idea. Do you feel I'm being defensive? No. no. Who's being defensive? Who do you feel is being defensive? See, see, see. How do you know my emotions if you're the one experiencing the emotion? See, I don't I, feel defensive. I, I think I asked a question that a number of other people wanted answered as well. Yes. About how Jesus could grapple with issues of love. And I've, an and I've answered it. Yes. But yes. not to your satisfaction. No, that's fine because the question, then what came up over there was something quite different. Yeah, but, but the point saying. is that the answer isn't to your satisfaction. Um, Emotionally, the answer isn't to your satisfaction. And there's a reason inside of you why that answer is not to your satisfaction. And that's because of some expectations you have of Jesus and what you believe Jesus to be. Yeah, and it's not who I am. The question came from my belief that Jesus was someone who was, was I've experienced what I believed had been a, a physical mm -hmm. connection with Jesus in mm -hmm. a very powerful way, and it was overwhelmingly full of love. Mm -hmm. and, and I see you as a loving person too. But my question, and I guess it came from the intellect, was, was how then are you still grappling with, 
with self-love. Mm-hmm. As I said, you've explained that. But not to your emotional satisfaction. Well, you know, maybe I just need a little bit more time to... to um, yeah, don't, don't, feel the, don't, don't worry about what I'm saying. I'm just saying I know that it's not to your emotional <coughs> satisfaction. Right? So, so while I've said all of this to you, it doesn't mean you're going to believe it until you experience it. And this is the case with everything I'm saying to you. All of this at the moment is just intellectual thoughts entering you through your ears, interpreted through your emotional state, whatever that state is, and entering your heart, right? This is all, everything I'm saying to you is like this. Every single thing you're hearing from me is a thought being transmitted through your ear, translated from language into feelings through your emotional filter, whatever your emotional filter is. Now, many of you have had a personal experience with Jesus, emotionally. And yes, I am capable of doing that. It's just you don't understand that at the moment. Right? You don't even know that you're capable of doing that. <laughs> right? You're capable of interacting with other people emotionally without being present. You are capable of that totally. You don't know that, many of you, yet. Right? Some of you maybe understand that, but you don't know it. But those things are all possible and will continue to be possible. That, that doesn't change the, the fact that the person standing right in front of you is who is saying is, right? even though you may not believe it. 